Oh. And welcome to a game I've never played before. Conquests of the Longbow. Welcome to Sherwood Forest. What is your pleasure? Well, I suppose we should need an introduction. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to beat this. It's just an attempt, really. Could I look, look up a walkthrough about it? Sure! But I might not enjoy the game. As you probably gathered, this is uh, this basically the story of Robin Hood. Sherwood Forest and what have you. You know, when I hit introduction, I was expecting a story introduction, not you know, opening credits. I really wish I knew how to get better sound with these things. In the year of our most gracious lord, 1193, good King Richard the Lionheart sailed across the sea. The infidels he had besieged, but Jerusalem was lost. Bloody was the third crusade, dearly did it cost. Long and dangerous was the road, enemies on all sides. Hidden by the night he rode, cloaked in merchant's guise. But in the realm of Austria, King Leopold did reign. He swore to capture Lionheart, or else to have him slain. Mighty oath did Richard swear at this base treachery. They bound him like a roaring lion to face his enemy. King Leopard was filled with glee to have so rich a prize. His laughter filled the stony halls, his greed rose to the skies. One hundred thousand golden marks on Richard's head he laid. And Lionheart his prisoner until the ransom paid. I have no fear, King Richard said, my people love me well. They'll raise the ransom that you ask. Damn your soul to hell! And when in England Prince John heard of his brother's golden fee, he swore a dark and holy oath that he would ne'er go free. So the days have sorely passed, and Lionheart does wait. as Black King John and traitorous dogs conspire to seal his fate. 
about Robin Hood in Green Sherwood, an outlaw's life does lead. Falsely charged by men corrupt to satisfy their greed. At your side, companions true, Little John is one. Alana Dale, the true Dabar, and much the miller's son. Will Scarlet with his good y -y bow, Friar Tuck to pray, Amen. Bold Robin Hood to lead them all, and so we shall begin. So we start our game. Uh, crank up the speed. I said crank up the crank up the speed. There we go. Tis my own horn. Let's toot it. It's kind of tough to see that my fire is kept lit in my cave warm. I've made a bed of lashed wooden leather with a fur covering for cold nights. This chest contains my own small store of money. Whatever else I gain from lightening the overfilled purses of of a rich man is, over, is turned over to Friar Tuck, who serves as our trusted treasurer. I'll count my money as my as I empty my the chest. There's something about silver in a purse that makes a day seem brighter. I have five pennies, nineteen ha pennies, I guess it's a half a penny, and twenty six farthings. With this horn I can summon my men at a time of need. I cannot think of a good reason to burn myself. He who talks too much thinks too little. I feel much the same as I did yesterday. Aye, here I am. Morning. You've all broken off fast, but mayhap Tuck will share some of his fish with you. From the garden starving look of our good friar, I feel be, you'll be left begging. I'll remember that give when it comes time to dole out the stew tonight. Mercy on me, Tuck, and I, or I'll be too weak to play your favorite tunes. You know the old Norman saying, Alan, never make an enemy of the cook. I can see there's no point hanging around here and listening to these two prattle. I'll be in the glade practicing. What of you, little John? What? I thought I'd to the overlook and see if any one of interest comes along Watton Street. Yeah! Tuck says our treasury could use a, use a boosting. Is that true? Sorry to say it is, Robin. We're down to but a few hundred marks. Well, then I'm off then. Join me there if you have a mind to. The redoubtable Tuck, though a Kirtle Friar and therefore a man of God, is renowned for his skill with the sword. Let's hope for a rich abbot or a greedy baron to come along to re and replenish our treasury. And you'd better st spend some time on the overlook watching the road, or for John, for you know John will tire of it soon enough. Our bard, a lad of lively wit and golden voice, Alan Adele. Pardon me, I'm just working on a song in honor of Tuck's fine cooking, and I need to concentrate. Just trying to get back in his good graces, are we?
Sure, it is lovely this time of year. I was hoping to practice. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the maximum score. Maps, it's better to follow John. Who has no time devouring that fish, I see. I find that a full belly greatly improves the magic of my prayers and gives me one more thing to give thanks for. I have no idea where I'm going. No idea where I'm going, no idea what I'm doing. Long has it been since I've played a Sierra game in which I am so clueless. There you are, Johnny boy. Glad I decided to come. I saw. A sheriff's man hit up the road a while back. But I have a mind to go around to the widow's cottage and say hello to her sons before they leave for Nottingham again. You might want to stay and watch for the fellow's return in case he's up to mischief. Thanks for the warning. May help I'll stop by and see on the widow later myself myself later on. She'd like that. So would the boys. Until then until until later then. Hmm. A West Fair Walk lies an Alder Grove. What? a druid tree. If I travel west, I'll reach a grove. A druid tree doesn't answer to mere mortal speech. This is the most ancient and sacred oak of the forest. I cannot think of what to say to an oak tree. So what's his name supposed to be practicing around the grove? This game seems mighty dull. Yeah, 
I'll give it a chance, but... Something happened. I got hundreds, hundreds of thousands more gold needed to save good King Richard. And feck all is going on. I just thought of something. nothing out here. Everything looks exactly the same. Is this a grove?
berries are full of thorns and the bushes are full of thorns and the berries are not quite ripe enough to pick. Fortunately, this game didn't cost much. Is the sacred willow grove, willow drip, camp. frightened. She's being pursued by one of the sheriff's men. Whoa! No, 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 no. Master, better though I am, they're both moving, and I might hit strike the wrong target. I best take no chances from here. Stand fast! All right, move aside, I say, in the name of the sheriff Nottingham. Hey, please, I've done nothing wrong. Please don't let him take me. Hey, please, release the woman. She's my prisoner. Step aside, I say. Let the woman go. What's it to you? She's only a peasant. Whom I've sworn to protect from scoundrels such as you. I've arrested her and she's coming with me. For what crime? Didn't pay her taxes. You've collected them thrice in one week. I just collect. I don't keep track. But don't worry, wench. I'll take a payment other than coin. Busting swine, let her go. I arrest you for hindering the sheriff's justice. Surrender yourself. Well, please, sir, to whom do I owe my salvation? Surely you've heard the name of Robin Hood. Robin Hood, then it's true what they say of you. I shall be forever grateful. What shall we do with this worthless carrion? I care not. Drag him away for the, for the wolves and ravens. Bless you and all your men. I must go. I must go now. I gave him a chance. She hurries down Watling Road as fast as her feet can carry her.
not sure if it was indeed a nice shot. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Didn't actually get me anything, except for another 100 points, but... Ah, just widow and her three f fine sons. How Hobbin Dickens. Mother, it's Robin Hood. Good day to you. It's good to see you again. But that tuck sent you to bother about the wool. Nay, he said nothing about it. Good. I told him I would have it soon enough. We're going down to, to down today, Master, if there's anything you need. I think not today, lads, but be careful. If Sheriff ever suspects you of helping the outlaws of Sherwood, oh, he'll never catch us. We'll listen around and hear all kinds of things. Thing is, you heed the man. He's wiser than you. Aw, oh, Mum. Don't worry, we'll keep the whelp under control. Fear not, Dickon. If I ever need a, a spy, I'll think of you. That's a mean looking old you. Isn't any you by definition a young sheep? I wanted to get a save before I shot him. A save after I shot him. And it'll just continue another save from here. Ugh, excuse me. Repositioning myself. I fear no shares, men. If they grab me, I'll dickin. Oh, mum. I wouldn't it say the Saturday fair coming will be the biggest fair yet. We'll be in town often, so if you think of anything you need to do, and let us you let us know. If I might have a word of or two with that friar of yours, he's a rather fine food for a holy man. Indeed, his growth nearly matches his is nearly the match of his piety. Well can't think of nothing else to do here. I mean, come, we didn't even steal anything off the corpse. Hell, if he was taking the taxes like she like she claimed, we could at least you know give some of it back. Hello. Willows form a living green temple. There's no one here. Why do you have no desire to burn yourself? A grim, well-built Norman f fortress of stone, converted by this order of militant monks into a monastery. built well. It would take a mighty army and a long sea to overcome such a place. The fog grows thicker. It would be easy to become lost within. Is this not where Friar Tuck, uh... Friars? Working my way through the dense fog, I can return... I can but return to the Fen Shore.
Well then. I guess we'll call it a video here. I'm the Blues32. This is Conquest of the Longbow. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.